Hello, and welcome to It's for your ego, me what could go wrong. Well, actually many things, many subtle things can go wrong while folding paper. It may look easy. It's you, your hands, your fingers, a piece of paper, some diagrams, or maybe a video tutorial on YouTube. You may think, come on, what could go wrong? You know, pieces of paper may come in many patterns and colors and sizes. How do you choose a piece of paper to fold? Let's see. As we just saw, a big problem may arise when you are given too many choices. How do you choose what piece of paper you are gonna fold? So, a first lesson we may get from this episode is sometimes too many choices are not so good. But there's another lesson we may learn. It doesn't matter how a piece of paper may look like. Just fold it. And similarly, and more importantly, it doesn't matter how you look like. Just enjoy your life and live it to the fullest. Please write down in the comment section your personal experience with what may happen when you are given too many choices. Also do not forget to rate this video with a thumb up, to add it to your favorites and to share it around with all of your friends on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, G+, in order to spread the knowledge about this kind of problems. See you next month on the 15th day for another episode of Sonia Origami. What could go wrong? Thank you. <laughs>